who saved his money so that he could come to a Phillies game by himself. He sat next to a single father, made a connection with Chris Greenwell, and now that young man will be coming to the World Series, and that young man will be coming to an Eagles game in a few weeks as well. So it just brings people together. So as we get started, I just want to take a moment to personally congratulate all the teams in the city, professional, collegiate, scholastic, and youth, for the incredible life moments that they provide all year long. At the moment, I must certainly recognize the Phillies and the Union and their great season and wish them continued success in the coming weeks. Philadelphia is unique in that all our teams are connected and support one another. Today is a chance for us to recognize some amazing people and organizations that inspire us through sports. Whether it's in a packed stadium, a neighborhood field, or even on a fencing street. We have four incredible honorees with us today. The Anderson Monarchs and Parkside Saints are two youth sports programs that have positively impacted thousands of young people and truly changed lives in the process. Nikki Frank is a pioneer, a champion, a coach, a mentor, an inspirational individual who has led one of college athletics' most successful programs for 50 amazing years. obviously has cre created a tremendous legacy. Andre Blake, who is a four-time MLS All-Star, the 2022 MLS Goalkeeper of the Year, a leader in our community, and the first men's soccer player to receive the Wanamaker Award. <laughs> On behalf of PHL Sports and in conjunction with the PHL CVB, We'd like to thank our friends at the Wanamaker Building, Rubenstein Partners, for their generous, generous partnership for so many years. Thank you to the city and Mayor Kenny and Catherine Ott Lowell for championing parks and recreation throughout the city. Thank you to our media partners from CBS3 and the Philadelphia Inquirer. Congratulations to all our award winners. And with that, I'd like to introduce Mayor Jim Kenny. Thank you. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and thank you, Don, uh, for the introduction. You've taken all my notes away from me in your speech, so let me talk about a little something personal. Um, I, I'm 64 years old. I grew up and live in Philadelphia, from South Philadelphia. I was lived in South Philadelphia before the vet was even built and before the Spectrum was even built. And every aspect of my life has been involved in some way with sports. Now, I'm not. I was never a great athlete. I was a terrible football player, but I played in high school uh, and I played hockey in high school. But the pro sports and the college sports, especially in this town, have really sh helped shape us all as, as native Philadelphians. Uh, I used to be a busboy in the stadium club at the Vet in the 1970s uh, and made good money. We used to go to the Eagles games and they used to sell the seats in the, in the stadium club like season tickets. So we had the same people there every week, and by one o'clock they were all done eating, cleaned up. I watched the game and walked out with $100 in my pocket. So in 1977, that's not too bad. Um, but every aspect of our experience you can tie back to sports. And just the other night, when, Br when um, Bryce hit that home run, as soon as the ball hit the bat, it, like it propelled you out of your seat because you knew it was gonna happen. And you knew it was another historical time, historical happening in Philadelphia that you will remember when you're old and sitting sitting old and gray in a rocking chair, you'll remember that night and that and that swing. Um, I also wanna talk a little bit about, about the Big Five uh, and the City Six that have been such a wonderful part of our lives. The palestra touches everybody, has touched everybody in their life whether you're there for a graduation situation or, or high school championship games, college games, those college doubleheaders were the absolute best, big five doubleheaders were the absolute best. So I just wanted to say this, not only has it been a great time over the years for sports, we are now in another one of those periods where it is just exciting, people seem nicer to each other. And as mayor, I was waiting on the fifth game, you know, the last game with the clincher, and part of me is like excited, I wanna win, and part of me is what's gonna happen after we win. It's the same thing that happened after the Eagles won. That nighttime celebration was beautiful. 
It brought out the best in everybody. There was no conflict. There was no argument. There was no arrest. I think maybe one or two for drunkards, which is orderly, but that's, that's normal. Um, but everybody kind of understood our commonality, and sports does that. And I would like to thank all the college programs. I'd like to thank all of our pro programs, our Eagles, our, our Flyers, Sixers. Um, uh, the Union, I was getting there. I'm, I'm a soccer fan. I got a picture with my Real Madrid shirt on the 4th of July, if you remember. That's another night. Um, but I just want to just, just thank all the ownership, all the players, uh, because they really do their best, and, and they're top-notch athletes, and they, make, they put our city on the map for tourism, hospitality, uh, our hotels, our restaurants, every aspect of our economy has something to do with our sports. So I want to thank everybody who's here who was involved in that, all the award winners, and especially those folks who look out for our children and give them a positive role model and a positive experience. Uh, and the guidance that they need so they go, the, they go the right way. So thank you all for being here. Go Eagles, go Phils, go Union, uh, go Flyers, go Sixers, and just have a good time and thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce our host for today from the Wanamaker Office Building and Rubenstein Partners, General Manager Kevin Powell. Thank you, everyone. Uh, very much like the mayor, everybody's kind of taken all the high points of what I was intending to say. But you know, I'd like to really welcome everybody here, our awardees, and all of our guests on behalf of the Wanamaker Office Building and Rootsing Partners. We're very proud to host and sponsor this great event again this year in partnership with PHL Sports, Channel 3, the Inqu Philadelphia Inquirer, and the City of Philadelphia. Philadelphia is like no other city when it comes to celebrating our own, and we really saw that, like everybody said this past Sunday, that everybody's streaming out on the Broad Street and you know, under Frankfurt Avenue and the Northeast and everywhere else in the city. Uh, today we get to celebrate both our big sports stars, but also those that really make a difference out of the big spotlight. We get to honor Anderson Monarchs and the Parkside Saints for the great work in youth sports developing not only athletes, but future leaders in our communities. We celebrate the incredible career of Dr. Nikki Frank, Temple Fencing Coach, who had an incredible 50-year career of coaching, mentoring, teaching, and leadership. And just an unbelievable record of 48 out of 50 winning seasons, which... I'm a, I'm a lifelong sports fan, and I've never heard such a winning percentage, especially not in Philadelphia. Um, lastly, we honor Andre Blake, great goal goalkeeper for the Philadelphia Union. <laughs> four-time all-star, three-time goalkeeper of the year for his incredible play and leadership on and off the field. Philadelphia sports continue to give us reason to come together and celebrate. It's just an unbelievable time to be a Philadelphia sports fan. <laughs> Takes me back to the 80s when no matter who played, they were winning and just gave us a lot to cheer about. Thank you again. Thanks for joining us and honoring all of our awardees and everything they mean to the city. Thanks very much. All right, thank you very much, Kevin. Okay, let's get to our first award of the day. Each year, the city's Parks and Recreation Sports Volunteer of the Year Award is presented to the men and women in our community whose exemplary volunteer efforts have made a real difference in the lives of our city's young people through sports. These are the quiet heroes in our community who give their time, hearts, and soul to the children of our city who need it most, oftentimes in the form of a coach and there's no better example of that than the late Cliff Smith and his fellow coaches at Parkside Saints. Let's learn more about this incredible program. The Parkside Saints is a youth organization founded in 2010 by Cliff Smith. He wanted to bring youth football to West Philadelphia, but we lost him last year. Cliff was a very generous, nice guy. Uh, Cliff didn't have no kid, any kids. Uh, 
did anything for anybody. He would do anything for the children. They didn't have a way to pay for registration. He would come out of his own pocket and pay for it and fund just about the whole work off his own paycheck. The program, though, continues to flourish. Cliff Legacy had to live on. It's something he always wanted, he wanted to do. The coaches use sports as a tool to build leadership skills and develop positive character traits. If you give up and you doubt yourself, you're not, not going to get it. If you say you want to do it and you push your mind to it, you're going to do it. So being out here in the fresh air and the kids, I think it kind of helps build up their self-esteem. It gives them, you know, feeling of teamwork. They got adults out here. There's a lot of supervision. There's a lot of mentoring going on, not just on the football field. You know, these kids are getting talked to. Homework, you know, they're helping them with homework. You gotta be a student athlete, not just an athlete, but a student athlete. So good, great grades, get in a good school, and go to the next level. Do your job, okay? When you do your job, everything works, okay? I can't hear you. Coaching the kids can be challenging at times. Discipline. To listen to what the coach tells you and to stay focused. That's one of the difficulties we at this age because our coach is not a new. You know, they all over the place, so we got to just tell them, do your job, be disciplined. Parkside Saints, for life we here, we're going to keep grinding for these kids. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're supposed to do as black men. Run for these kids, make sure they get what they need so they can be better men. At this time, it is my pleasure to welcome to the podium Philadelphia Parks and Recreation Commissioner Catherine Otlo. much. Um, it's such an honor to be here today. I want to start off by, of course, thanking our, our mayor, Jim Kenney. Um, you know, it's been such an honor for me to work under Mayor Jim Kenney um, because I don't think we've ever had a mayor who has cared more deeply um, about parks, about recreation, about playgrounds, about sports, about youth, um, sports development than our mayor, Jim Kenney. And I thank him for the bottom of my heart. Um, I met um, Cliff Smith uh, prior to my time in city government. I worked for an organization called the Fairmont Park Conservancy, and we were building um, a new football field in Hunting Park uh, for the North Philly Aztecs. Um, and, you know, I, I, I know nothing about football. <laughs> nothing. Um, and knew nothing about football then either. And, um, and yet we were building this, this, uh, this football field as a um, part of a transformation project in Hunting Park. And um, there was a great uh, coach there as well who passed away, who received this award a few years ago, Wayne Allen. And it was that experience in Hunting Park where I really was first exposed to the power of youth football organizations. 